साइबर क्राइम साइबर क्राइम एनी क्रिमिनल अटैक और एनी क्रिमिनल एक्ट विच डील्स विथ कंप्यूटर और नेटवर्क विच इंक्लूड्स हैकिंग ऑल्सो सो साइबर क्राइम इट इंक्लूड्स ट्रेडिशनल क्राइम्स कंडक्टेड थ्रू इंटरनेट एनी क्राइम कंडक्टेड थ्रू इंटरनेट कंप्यूटिंग डिवाइसेज कंप्यूटर्स नेटवर्क दीज आर साइबर क्राइम्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल दी हेट क्राइम्स टेली मार्केटिंग और इंटरनेट फ्रॉड योर यू नो आइडेंटिटी थेफ क्रेडिट कार्ड अकाउंट थेफ दीज आर ऑल यू नो दे आर कंसिडर्ड और दे कम्स अंडर दी साइबर क्राइम कंप्यूटर कैन बी यू नो जस्ट लाइक यू वी एज अूमन वी आर टारगेट फॉर बैड पीपल Computer can also be a target. So these crimes are committed uh, by a selected group of criminals. And unlike crimes using the computer as a tool, these crimes or these criminals, they are having technical knowledge and they are perpetrators, right? And there are so many uh, crimes which are committed because everyone is using internet. So crime that primarily target the computer networks or devices. they may include computer viruses spreading computer viruses making computer viruses and denial of service attack see you want some service and the service is showing denied so this is a denial of service attack then malware any any code which has malicious intent this is considered as a uh, threat or a crime computer ethics you meet an elder person what do you do you say hello you respect them you talk properly when you meet meet your friend you say hello hi you know you are feel informal so there are ethics to live in society so this computer society also needs some ethics so computer ethics is a set of moral principle that will regulate the use of computers there are certain issues or common issues of computer ethics which involves ipr intellectual property right like the copyright electronic content the privacy concerns and how computers affect society first of all we need to learn uh, these ethics that is you should not use computer to harm anyone any other person do not interfere with other other person's computer work do not snoop do not uh, snoop into the other computer other, other person's computer file and do not steal from his or her computer or network you shall not use a computer to bear false witnesses witness uh, you shall not copy any Uh, proprietary software because we call it as a piracy just pay and use you shall not use other person's computer resources if he has not authorized you or you have not given any compensation or he has not given you permission and when someone has done something don't use it just like that take permission so you shall not appropriate other people intellectual output this is ipr you shall think about social consequences of the program you are writing and the system you are designing because it can affect uh, the community so you shall always use a computer in a way to ensure consideration and respect of everyone on this world